If you have smart lights in your home, you probably already know how convenient and fun they can be. Not to mention handy when you're already in bed and forgot to turn out the lights somewhere in the house. Why not take the next step with your Philips Hue smart lights and add voice control so you don't even need your phone to shut out all the lights when you're already tucked in. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and TechGadgetsCanada.com, and in this video we will explore how to add voice control to your Philips Hue smart lights. It's worth pointing out that voice control can be added to both the regular Philips Hue lineup of light bulbs or to the new bridge-free Bluetooth Hue lights. We'll take a look at the steps for adding both Google Assistant and Alexa functionality to these lights. You can even enable both Google and Alexa to control your lights if that's what you want. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give us a sub since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy and learn from. You will of course need not only your Philips Hue lights, but a Google Home enabled device like the Nest Hub or Google Home Mini, or an Amazon speaker like the new Amazon Echo Studio to listen for and act on your voice commands. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that you've chosen your device and you have it already set up. I'm also going to assume that you've already got your lights, uh, your Philips Hue lights set up and installed as well. Now if not, if you're not uh, up to speed here with me, hit pause and come back and see me when you're ready. To use Google Home, go to the Google Home app and choose Add, which is the plus symbol in the top left. Then choose Set Up Device and select Have Something Already Set Up. Though this may seem counterintuitive, it's a faster way. If you choose Set Up a New Device, you'll need to add lights individually. Doing it my way adds the entire group. You'll get a list of compatible brands, so scroll down until you see Philips Hue, and then you'll need to sign into your Hue account. Then you'll need to link your bridge by going to it and pressing the button on top. Once that's done, you can say, OK, digital assistant, sync my lights. From there, you can use the names that you set these lights up as inside the Hue app and ask Google to control them. Alexa setup is similar. Go to the Alexa app and choose skills and games from the hamburger menu at the top left. Search Philips Hue and click enable to use. Again, you'll need to sign into your Philips Hue account to connect it. That's it. To read some of the commands that you can issue to your lights, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've also got a full write-up posted and you can ask us any questions you have about these lights or the assistance either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. If you want your lights to communicate with you, you can also check out my blog on how to get your lights to turn blue when there's snow in the forecast or red when the temperature is going to rise to a certain level. Read that at techgadgetscanada.com by searching how do I turn my lights blue when it's going to snow. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and give us a sub since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until the next time, you can catch me on Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always find me at Facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada. Uh -huh.